Hi, I'm Roxy, and today we're going to show you how to replace your valve using a valve wrench. You'll need two items, your valve wrench and a new valve. First and foremost, you want to make sure your board is completely deflated. Undo the dust cap and insert your valve wrench into the valve. To remove the valve, you'll be twisting counterclockwise. Once the valve is removed, check the rubber ring to make sure that it is in the correct position, tight around the valve, and that there is no debris in the way. Be sure the pin spring is functioning properly and that there are no cracks along the edges. Next, you'll want to look into the board to ensure there are no strings from the drop stitching material. Note the bottom piece of the valve is not attached to anything, so be sure not to lose it if you decide to go exploring. If everything looks right, you can use your original valve, and if not, you'll want to use a new one. Now time to fit the valve back into your board. Align all the threads and twist to tighten. Once it is hand tight, use the valve wrench to seal completely. This should fix all of your issues with the valve. Now it's time to pump up your board and hit the water. 